What's going on everybody? It's Jake. I am back with another Try Hack Me video. This time we are going to do the phishing emails in action. Uh, so let's just get right into it. Okay, so task number one uh, just says that it's basically covered the basics in the first one. So make sure you guys have done that. If not, I have a video covering that. You guys can watch that. But anyways, we can just complete this and go on to task number two. Okay, so after reading all of task number two, the only question is what phrase the, does the gibberish sender email start with? Uh, so we scroll up. It'll say right here. Uh, this is the gibberish one, number two. Uh, looks like it starts with no reply. So that, that's probably the answer there. No reply with no spaces. Okay, after completing that, we'll move on to task number three here. Okay, so after reading task number three, the only question is what is the root domain for each URL? Uh, defang the URL here. Um, so it looks like it looks like the root uh, URL should be the devret.xyz, and it wants us to defang it. So if you go to Cyberchef, uh, you guys can type in up here, just defang. Defang URL, just drag it over into the recipe. And then all you have to do is type in the website, devret.xyz, and then the defang version comes out right here. So we'll go ahead and copy that. And then we'll just paste it into the answers here, and that should be the answer. Alright, moving on to task number four here. So after reading all of task number four, uh, the only question is the email sample used the names of a few major companies, their products, and logos, uh, such as OneDrive and Adobe. What other company name was used in this phishing email? So it looks like we're looking for a, a six letter word here. And it's not Adobe or OneDrive. So I think it's going to be the Citrix right here. C-I-T-R-I-X. We'll try that. Alright, that's the right answer there. Moving on to task number five here. The only question on task number five is what should users do if they receive a suspicious email or text message claiming to be from Netflix. So if you click on the hint here, it gives you a link that you gotta go to. So you just click on that. It'll bring you to this consumer affairs link right here. And it says right here, users who receive a suspicious email or text message claiming to be from Netflix are advised to forward the message to phishing at Netflix.com. Uh, so that's gonna be the answer right there. Forward the message to phishing at Netflix.com. Okay, so after reading through task number six, uh, this one's also very easy, only has two questions. What does BCC mean? Uh, it says up above that it means it's a blank carbon copy. Blind, it's a blind carbon copy. And then what technique was used to persuade the victim, uh, victim to not ignore the email and act swiftly? Uh, this one, I'm just guessing, probably urgency, if I can spell it right. Alright, looks like that's right there. After reading task number seven, also a very easy one. What is the name of the executable that the Excel attachment attempts to run? Uh, looks like it's probably the this one right here, which is regasms.exe. Okay, it looks like that one should be right there. Uh, and then task number eight, conclusion, uh, just tells you what you went over. So th that's basically it right there. You guys can go ahead and complete that out. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Thank you guys.